Hey guys, welcome to another episode of the A3 Review. Today we're going to do a spotlight on the Mastermind Creations Fembots. And speaking of Mastermind Creations, we are going to do a review on the Cynicus from the Reformatted series. My name is Alex. I'm Boris. And you're watching the, the A3, A3 Review. review. So to kick off this episode, we're going to do a spotlight on the various fanbots from Mastermind Creations. And there are a lot of them. There's actually a couple more that we don't have shown here. They're the exclusives. Uh, there's yep. a TFCon Chicago exclusive, the Asterisk mode, yep. which sports a white, orange, and kind of a bluish color, which is one of my favorite ones, actually. Mm -hmm. And then Azalea Stealth mode, okay. which is like a black Azalea with really cool head sculpt, uh, very menacing head sculpt. So um, it's different from this one, this head sculpt? Yeah, definitely. Oh really, okay. And the black is actually really nice, another one of my favorites. Um, uh, we just don't have that. I mean, those those exclusives sold out a while ago. Yeah. Uh, but definitely uh, having all of them together is even cooler. But uh, we're gonna focus on the four that we have right now. That's right, we have Azalea, mm -hmm. Zinnia. That's right. Salvia Prominion. That's right. And also Eupatorium. That's correct. Man, it's really cool to see them all together like this. Yeah, at first when you see them online uh, individually, you don't realize all the subtle differences. Yeah. There's actually a lot of cool subtle differences between all the fembots from uh, the weapons that they have. For example, Prominion relies a lot on this super hammer. Yeah, love it. Uh, the crossbow for Eupatorium. That's cool. It's very, very cool. It attaches to her guns. <clears throat> and then you have Zinnia, who's kind of like, seems like a foot soldier. Mm -hmm. She handles the guns. Yep. And in fact, these two little uh, kind of shoulder uh, wings, yeah. they don't come with <clears throat> her. Uh, mm -hmm. They come with uh, Prominion. Okay. Yeah, when you buy Prominion, it just comes as a couple extra pieces for her. Yeah. Uh, she actually comes without it, and it's a lot more sleek looking mm -hmm. and in fact her vehicle mode also represents it without those pieces as well yeah it makes it look slightly different and then azalea of course is the sword ninja yeah uh, she looks cool they really show off their personalities through the <coughs> colors and also the their head sculpts yes as well as the the different weapons they hold that's right um the head sculpts are something to definitely kind of highlight what you said. Yep. They really do give it different character. Yep. Uh, even the exclusive ones, they have slightly different head sculpts. I gotta tell you that this is my favorite one. This is your I, favorite one? Yep, it, I love the metallic. I actually like this uh, this this um, this um light pink or this light purple uh, and this clear turquoise. It just goes so well. I mean, they, they really uh, did a good job with the colors. Prominion also comes with all, all of the weapons. Yeah, <laughs> right. yeah, that's right. She's got the swords, yeah. the guns, and the hammer, which mm -hmm. is kind of uh, awesome. Yeah. You know, she's definitely got a lot of uh, uh, power backing her. Yeah. Uh, and she's the only one with the mask, which is yes. really cool too. Yep, that um, is very good. Nice touch. And then in vehicle mode, I just thought I might point out, they actually do transform uh, slightly differently. Uh, they can all actually represent, because it's the same mold, Yes. they yes. can all represent all those different variations of the vehicle, which is cool. Yeah. Uh, but uh, the uh, you know default transformation for each vehicle is supposed to be slightly altered. They've just made it very cool uh, how you can transform it just slightly differently for all the vehicle modes and all these moving parts of the with the wings and everything, and even like clipping the swords on. Yeah, yeah. Uh, actually provides a very different look for the bot mode as well. Yeah. And you can do very different things with it. Uh, posability, super awesome. They come with this kind of a little stand, mm -hmm. all of them. And not only does it help them stand in bot mode really nicely for you to do all these awesome poses, it acts as a stand when they're in vehicle mode as well to kind of show off the vehicle so it's not just like sitting on the ground, it's hovering a little bit. Yes, yes. I think they did a great job with this. Um, uh, I was actually skeptical at first. I thought, man, how many fembots <laughs> can we possibly push out here? <laughs> uh, but now that I got them together, I'm actually quite excited. It makes me want to collect 
uh, all of them. Essentially, they are all the same at like in the foundation, but Mastermind Creations did such a great job in uh, adding all those variation to the point where they really feel like completely different figures. They do to come with their own comics as well, so they actually do have a story behind yeah. it. You gotta really appreciate how much time Mastermind has put into their storylines now. Yeah. And that is our spotlight on the Mastermind Creations Fembots. They're all available at www.ages3nup.com and you should get them while supplies last because they are really cool and you need to add them into your collection. So get them. Definitely. So here is Cynicus out of the box and he's got a really big gun. Yeah. <laughs> He's very cool. I mean, he's supposed to be kind of like an assassin. Yep, yep. Uh, part of a, a, a kind of a traitor justice. Ah, uh, okay. Um, uh, kind of figure. So he's kind of like very sleek yep. as well. Uh, very kind of slender and lanky. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's, it's very, very representative of uh, his actual character. Yeah, which yeah. Is, which is really cool. And, you know, the thing I like about this figure is the, it actually has a lot of posability, and it's yeah. Um, you can <clears throat> tell with all these uh, ball joints and these these like hinges right here and here. Yeah, it's it's definitely got a lot of posability for such a lanky character. This balance is actually really good as well. The figure itself is actually very solid. Um, mm -hmm. uh, with this one specifically that I got, there's not a lot of loose parts, and they're not overly tight either. Yeah, uh, this is actually a very you know well made product mm -hmm. through and through. Uh, paint apps are really nice. Um, there's not like a whole load of them. Yeah. Um, but they're in the, all the right spots. I felt it was very, very solid. That's one of the first things I noticed when moving him around. Like, like you said, no loose joints, playing with it, posing it. I wasn't really concerned about it falling down or any like, like balancing issues. It is a solid figure. So uh, definitely uh, they did do a good job with that department. Yeah. I, I think so too. This this gun really suits him as well. Yeah, you know, I, I like the idea that it is a big gun and he's kind of like like slender. It adds to his character. Like you know that he's an assassin type character, and like even look at the face with the red eyes. That looks like it's like I don't know, like like scope vision or something. Yeah, and it's great because he actually himself he turns into a rifle. We'll <laughs> That's see. right. You'll see later. Yeah, and, and it utilizes all these parts, which is really great. He's got just a lot of like little cool things, like you know his scope up here, kind of in, in gun mode. This is kind of his scope, but it yeah. also turns into kind of his like little shoulder. Uh, Could cannons. be a shoulder cannon. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. There's really good shoulder movement. Uh, within here as well. Mm -hmm. Look uh, at that. That's great. Which really allows him to hold the gun in very different, various different poses, right? Yeah, that uh, is cool. So, I mean, I, this is what I'm saying. Like, with with the amount of articulation that's happening here, you got the ball joint in the wrist, along with kind of a swivel joint in his arms, and then another kind of a hinge right here that uh, it's double hinged. Double so, hinge. Yeah. So it really like offers a lot of maneuverability to really get in some really aggressive posing, um, which is really great about this figure. For me, this is a definite win for the reformatted series. Being a limited figure too, uh, definitely makes you want it more, right? Yeah, because yeah, it's yeah. Like, now that I know it's so cool, where can I get one? Um, <laughs> we're unfortunately sold out on pre-order at Age of Serena. If you have a chance to get your hands on this guy, I think he's totally worth it. Uh, he's worth every penny. The coloring is good. The posability is great. Uh, the figure itself, the way he looks, is fantastic. Um, I want to see it in its uh, gun mode, actually. Yeah, definitely. Let's uh, let's take it into gun mode now. So here he is in his sniper rifle mode. That's it's right. Like High-tech sniper rifle, and uh, many of you guys have seen this in the uh, comics, being used by a certain leader um, to assassinate people yeah um, so it's a it's a very it's a very cool looking gun and a, a, a very great rendition of it yeah so, I, li I like the uh, the functional parts for example you have the scope you have the uh, the the, the, sh the shoulder the, the butt stock yeah. yeah and uh, of course you have the the bipod here so very functional very cool and something big must be holding this <laughs> rifle well what I love about this gun mode is not only that it looks cool, um, but it actually, and I mean, there's a lot of details like the little scope yeah. here too. Yeah. Um, but right now it just sports a different handle, but it can be held by a smaller uh, robot. But the handle that I have on it right here, 
it actually works with MMCs for Feral Rex. Oh. So Feral Rex can actually hold this gun. I, I don't have an assembled Feral Rex right now, which is kind of a downer, but for all of you who want to see this kind of interesting playability to it and have the Feral Rex, this is a great additional piece. Oh yeah. Uh, this was highly limited as well, so those of you who got it, Really, take it out, play with it, put it in Feral Rex's hands. It looks really, really cool. Yeah, absolutely. As, as a rifle. The transformation was actually a little bit, uh, it's a little bit more difficult than <laughs> I thought it would be. Because there's no obvious like yeah. way that this gun should look except for the stock and you know the, uh, the barrel, right? Yeah. It's all ball joints. Yeah, yeah, and it's, uh, again, you know, um, you, you kind of have to snap it together in all the right, uh, places for it to really kind of come together. Yeah. Not one I think that you could totally figure out without the instructions. You kind of get the general gist of it. Mm -hmm. But then when you look at it without the instructions, you're kind of like, oh, I made a, <laughs> a mess of a, a gun here. Yeah. Uh, uh, I mean, you could probably look at the finished product on the box and sort of get the idea as well uh, for those who don't want to, you know, open up the instructions because you're better than me. All in all, like, what a what a great figure. Yeah, I, I like it. I, I think it uh, has a lot of uh, great detail on it, and of course, it, you know, it looks like a gun. It doesn't look too ridiculous, like a lot of sci-fi rifles can look like, um, and this will be a great um, addition to your Feral Rex. Yeah, very solid piece. Uh, let's give it a review. Before we do the review, I just want to quickly mention that it does come with a couple of extra pieces. Uh, another head sculpt and also a little mask that pops like uh, off uh, uh, in the con comic continuum. It actually shows how this works, uh, which is very cool. It's a, a nice little homage to that. Cool. Yeah. So let's uh, let's review this guy. All right. So for aesthetic, I'm gonna give him a nine. Look at him. He looks really really cool. A lot of posability there, so you can get him in really really great poses and make him look cool. That's the number one thing about this this uh, figure. He looks cool, and even his uh, gun mode looks pretty dynamic as well. It's not like any gun I've ever seen before. But once you put this guy in his robot mode, have him hold the gun. Like, any angle that you look at him, he looks good. Aesthetic, I'm gonna give it a nine as well. I think it looks very close to its counterpart uh, in the comics. And I think, you know, for me, I actually didn't like the character in the comics that much mm -hmm. uh, in terms of design. I thought it was very lanky, something that I didn't really care, about, care too much for. But the way that this represents it is so amazing with the colors and everything that's done to this, um, I, I have to give it a nine. For playability, I'm also giving it a nine. Posability is there, you can transform it into a gun, the gun can be held by other robots of different sizes, and there's just so much you can do with it. And of course, with those um, interchangeable heads and the mask, that's another thing, so there's a lot you can do, and you're gonna be having a lot of fun playing with this guy. Uh, I'm gonna give it a nine as well. Something I didn't get to show actually earlier, because you know, because of the time, is you can actually put the gun on his back as well, so there's a holding uh, place for that. Uh, the gun actually comes apart into two parts. Um, and you know, the extra added mask, uh, just the, <clears throat> the levels of articulation here really allow you to work with this guy and uh, Make him really, really cool. And for innovation, I am giving him also a nine. This is something that I really haven't seen before from Mastermind Creations. We've seen a lot of different types of figures from them, but now we're getting something which is essentially a transformable Revel Tech. All right, very, very posable. A lot of things you can do with them. Um, you can put them in all kinds of dynamic poses, and it's something that uh, you don't get to see a whole lot of in the third party industry. So, very innovative. I give it a nine as well for innovation, more because I notice how well uh, they translated the transformation. Uh, from comic to how it is here. It's very seamless, it works really well. There's not a lot left to uh, be desired in terms of the transformation. A few points, of course, against it, uh, as all, all, always, you know, there's always a little bit of something, the kibble, but for the most part, like, the, the gun, you know, when it transforms into gun mode, it actually tucks in quite well. No extra pieces flying around anywhere that, I, that are very noticeable. And then to add that extra little bit of uh, playability with uh, 
uh, the Feral Rex and, and whatnot. Um, yeah, the innovation is great. Our overall scores are both nines. Yeah. And I'm really happy to say that uh, this is a must have. Yeah, definitely. Um, any of you guys that are fans of the comic, uh, fans of Mastermind Creation products, this is definitely um, a very, very above average piece um, in general. Yep, so get it wherever you can because uh, he's going to be gone very, very soon. Yep. And that's our episode for today. We hope you enjoyed it. And as usual, please feel free to use the comment section below. Leave us some feedback. Let us know how we're doing. And also let us know what you'd like to see. Absolutely. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe to the YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, Ages 3 and Up, and also follow us on Twitter at Ages 3 and Up. We'll see you next time. See you next time. Bye.